need to be out of the car to do it. <laughs> you need <laughs> room? This is Leroy Rollins' channel. <laughs> Good morning guys, welcome to the video. Just finished up 30 minutes on the treadmill hitting 230 calories. You guys saw that weigh-in, 178.1, which is two pounds from Saturday. Today's Wednesday, so man, sometimes, uh, I don't know, sometimes the weigh-ins just, they just don't make sense. I really can't, can't pinpoint where that would be from. Yesterday we did like a low day, or no, what's today, Wednesday. Monday, we did a low day because I don't train, so we cut back carbs a bit. Yesterday was normal, and then today, because I'm doing legs, um, I get my normal breakfast and then pre-workout, which is actually right now, we're gonna do four rice cakes for some extra carbs. So, typically, Wednesday, I come in the morning, do cardio, then work, and then come and do legs at night, but tomorrow, Thursday, one of my clients is coming up to do a workout tomorrow evening. So instead of being at the gym tonight and tomorrow night, I opted to do legs this morning and then be home tonight and then do train tomorrow night. So we'll see how it goes. I'm hoping the extra carbs kind of help me out. So uh, we're going to get this kind of meal in. I'll probably only drink like half of this right now. Um, that way it's not overly heavy in my stomach, especially with the extra rice cakes. I'll have a decent amount of fuel and then uh, we'll get legs done. So it's about 20 after six, gonna train at seven. So I'm gonna eat this now and then probably just watch like a YouTube video or something to kind of just relax and let my food digest a little bit and then we'll, we'll hit the gym. So we'll catch you guys in a couple minutes when we do legs.
despite it being a morning leg workout, which typically give me a hard time because legs is such a physically taxing session, it was actually a good workout. And uh, not to mention doing cardio beforehand. I thought, uh, I thought it was gonna be a really rough workout. Like energy levels were gonna be low, but thankfully that wasn't the case. I had a good workout, hit uh, 475 on the Smith hip thrust for 10 or 12, um, all like dead stop reps, which was good. No momentum, no bouncing. And then I did a back off, uh, 405 for 15, which was good. Uh, and then we did, excuse me, a bunch of hamstring work, uh, one quad isolation exercise, and uh, some calves to finish. So it was a good workout. All in all, it took me just about an hour. Um, so I did the 30 minutes on the treadmill, took about 30, 45 minutes to uh, eat something, relax, and then uh, we hit that workout and now we're here at work. So it's quarter to nine-ish, so the store opens at 9.30, so I'm here now, gonna have post-workout Cheerios with protein. Uh, I already drank my cluster bomb because I was, I was pretty hungry uh, after that workout, so I gotta replenish the body, get some nutrition in. So yeah. Gonna gonna enjoy this meal and then uh, we'll get the day started and I'll touch base. With the hip. I'll touch base with you guys a little bit. Just wanted to update you guys. The latest podcast is up with pro natural bodybuilder Kendall Richmond. He's 24 years old and was last year's WNBF world champion. So be sure to go check that out. By the time you guys see this video, this video will be live. So go check that out. Give it a watch. Give Kendall a follow on Instagram. I believe it's at Coach K Training. So give him a follow, show him some love, and, and yeah, go give that podcast a watch because it's a good one. Okay, third meal of the day going down. We've got 140 grams of rice with five ounces of chicken, and in there is eight grams of coconut oil with our 70 grams of pineapple. I also have the two eggs from this morning since I didn't eat them before the workout. So a pretty hefty meal. Get to enjoy this nice plethora of food, which is good. It is a little after 11, so I'll have this now. And then my favorite meal, the beef and potatoes, which will be probably around like two or three o'clock. So we'll talk to you guys later. One thing I wanna to touch on guys, and it just kind of been simmering in my brain the last 15, 20 minutes, uh, is your ability to be robotic on prep. And you'll see this kind of consistent attitude and mindset over most top bodybuilders, whether they be enhanced or natural. And it's the ability to kind of just turn off your brain to other things outside of prep. So when it comes to your training, your nutrition, your cardio, your sleep, your supplementation, all these things become just robotic and they just become daily tasks, daily checklists that you, you check off every single day. You check off prepping your food, you check off packing it, you check off eating it. You check off going to the gym, you check off each set, set by set. You're on your cardio, you're checking that off every day. And this ability to be robotic about things and just focus on the goal, focus on the task at hand, it's not glamorous, it's not exciting, it's very tedious, but it is the, the secret that pays off. It's the secret to top bodybuilders, whether they be male, female, you know, excelling and doing well. The people that get stressed out and, and you know are inconsistent with things and they might not even be big things but those inconsistencies add up and if you're competing against somebody that's going to be consistent and robotic and on track with everything you're going to lose to them if you're not doing those things so this uh this was kind of inspired by aj morris but uh i just wanted to throw that in this video because it's something i think is really important time for the favorite meal this this is always the best and honestly adding pink himalayan sea salt guys takes this meal from like a 9 out of 10 to an 11 out of 10 it's unreal beef potatoes broccoli the basics five ounce of beef 200 grams of potatoes 70 grams of broccoli with some water and uh yeah been uh, steady at the store today been a good day uh sales wise being productive so i'm gonna sit back and enjoy this delicious meal, and then uh, put around with the day. All right, we are home from training a client. 
work till five, train client from five to six, from 5.15 to six. We're getting some food, nothing uh, fancy. Five ounce chicken, 70 grams of rice, five grams of coconut oil. And I'm hungry. I don't know if it's gonna be the legs this morning with the cardio and it just kind of like rev my metabolism up, but all day I've been super hungry, which sucks because being hungry for a little bit is one thing and then you go eat something and you're fine, but on prep you have restrictions and you can't do that. So being hungry all the day, all the damn day, but whatever is what it is. So this is a uh, second last meal and then I'll probably, I, I typically, alternate between like eggs for my last meal or just like a shake uh, i think i'm gonna go eggs tonight because that's a little bit more filling than a shake so yeah i'm gonna eat this and then uh go chill on the couch with carrie watch some tv and then pack everything up for tomorrow so hope you guys enjoyed the video be sure to like and subscribe this weekend will be 18 weeks out 177 we'll see see you guys in the next one